Let's get into this kid hairstyle for Kalia's type three curly curly hair. So we are doing petal braids on Kalia. I originally found this style from Duchess Braids here on YouTube. She did a tutorial featuring this style and I absolutely fell in love with her work. So I really wanted to give it a go on Kalia's hair and I am absolutely stunned at how good this turns out. So I'll make sure to shout her out down in the description bar. You guys can check out all her other work. We're gonna go ahead and jump into this tutorial on how we style Kalia's petal braids. I really like these uh, petal braids that Duchess Braids did a tutorial on. I really like the style of the parting. And since I suck at doing straight lines, I felt like this would be like a lot easier for me to do. N little did I know that I did end up facing a challenge when trying to part Kalia's hair. So I, instead of doing like my regular using my Eco Styler gel, I went out and bought some Let's Jam conditioning gel, which is a whole lot thicker. And I heard that this this helps with getting those clean, straight parts. Let me say, I was absolutely amazed at how well this worked. And I grew up on using Let's Jam. That was our edge styler, our eco styler. Back when I was a kid, we used Let's Jam. So I was definitely familiar with the products. I just never decided to use them on the girl's hair. Let me say, I can never go back. I can never go back to parting the regular way. Like my parts came out so freaking straight. I was like so surprised. So this is the key product for getting straight lines. You need a conditioning gel. Doesn't even matter the brand. I just came across Let's Jam because like I said, I'm familiar with it, but a conditioning gel, which is nice and thick, perfect. Cause I've tried like the regular, like edge styler gels that they have out nowadays and they always flake up on me and they flake on Kalia's hair and I absolutely dis despise that. So. It doesn't work well for me, but this product did excellent. Now let's get off of that because they are not sponsoring this video. So I really do am very challenged at doing parts. So when I saw these petal braids on uh, my YouTube, they came across my YouTube feed. I was just really intrigued at how, you know, how they just look like legit petal flowers in uh, your hair. And I just, I had to try it. I just felt like this was a cute, like flower girl or just holiday hairstyle and since this is the holiday season i feel like this is a cute holiday style for kalia to wear for the next two to three weeks All right, now doing my first feed in braid with the petal style uh, parts, I was feeling myself. I was like, oh my God, this looks so good. So I go in, do my second one. That one came out looking good. Took me a little bit of practice to get that nice curvature that I was looking for. Going into that third and fourth petal braid, I messed it up. So in the video, it does look a little janky, but I did go back and I did fix the third and fourth pedal braid. You're gonna have uh, like three, I did three pretty much going down and then two going up to create that half up, half down ponytail. And then the front of her hair is all going to go towards that ponytail in that nice braided style.
You can see it a lot more now that I'm now doing the braids that are going to be going up into the ponytail. So my parts went from petal braids to shark week. It looks like some jagged tooth, <laughs> shark teeth going on. It was terrible, but I, it was late at night. I was tired. So I was like, Cal, we're just going to go ahead and finish this video. I'll come back in the morning and we'll fix it because we, we were both tired. We were just ready to finish up the style. Finally finished braiding. We're now going to style the top half into a bun. I was debating whether doing a ponytail or a bun, but Clea is pretty active, so I decided with going with a bun. Now, the trick to getting her bun to stay in, because I have a lot of problems with her keeping her buns in, they always like fall out. She comes home with braids everywhere. I take a hair net and I wrap it around the bun and I wrap it around twice and then kind of like twirl the ends around the end of the bun to kind of just seal it in there and just take a bobby pin to it. We're gonna slay her age edges real quick. She is good to go. Add some foam to lay down any flyaways. Add her silk scarf and she is off to bed. That is it. Very, very simple. She will keep this style from anywhere to two to three weeks or when her hair starts showing signs for it needs to be washed. Try not to keep protective styles for longer than you need to. Her hair will let you know when it's time to take it out. It starts itching, it starts sinking, it starts getting gunky. Listen to those signs, ladies, and take it out. And same thing goes for your kids. If you start to see a lot of flaking in your child's braids or her um, protective style, whatever style she has in, or she's doing a lot of scratching, more than likely it's time to take that style out, wash her hair, and start anew. Sometimes holding protective styles longer than what we need to, this can cause damage to your natural hair. So always pay attention to those signs. Well, that is the end of our video. If you have stayed with us for this entire video, thank you so much. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and the like button for watching our video. We will see y'all on another one. Thank you. Be safe and be blessed.